Over my summer break in 2020, I decided to hit the road and drive north through Tohoku, Japan. In nine days, I drove over 900 miles through beautiful Japanese landscape. I met some locals, some good friends, and saw some amazing sights. This video is just one small piece of my journey across Japan. Well, here she is. Paru Akude Tebu. like it's been machines right here with still some coins in there. God damn it, that scared the shit out of me. Looking over the river right here. River. The lake. Still a lot of the dishes over here. still in there. Some of the yukatas, not yukatas, but the, the bathrobes. It's left as is.
This room didn't stand a chance. This is an onsen. You cannot see in there at all, I'm sure. No, sorry. GoPros doesn't look, doesn't work that well in low light. Sorry. Let's go up. guy's a real artist, isn't he? This is the old karaoke room. Got the mic right here, speakers, TV. This is where the party went down. Hopefully that's coming up. Hopefully you can see that on the GoPro. I don't know if I like that. Look at that room. Alright, well, there you have it. The doo doo room, the doo doo hotel. Uh, let's get out of here. These huge massive doors.
right, don't worry. I found a place to rest my head for tonight. I uh, just looked up on Google the closest camp of Joe, the closest camp resort, and well, it led me here. And I was kind of worried at first because I stopped at a Yokon and they're saying that maybe because camping is really popular this time of year or this year because of Corona and everything that it might be closed. But I roll up in here and it's clearly not closed. So uh, luckily, luckily they had a spot open for me and it only cost a Nissan 20 bucks to uh, get my own spot. So right now, uh, what should I do? I'm going to set up my tent and maybe get some stuff out of my car but then I'm gonna run to Lawson's and get some food and uh, just get some things I'm not gonna cook out or anything I just want to chill out tonight there's a there's a bath in here that I can use and so let's uh I just want to set up get this beer on ice and then walk around and just see uh, see what else is out here so yo katane let's do this set up and good to go did that in record time you see that, that was like six seconds right. now she looks in there nice and comfy got me a blow-up mattress gonna sleep good tonight let's see yeah close that up check this out I'm right next to the fishing hole I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing That one flying. <laughs> Tell him. He's telling him, yo, that hook's dangerous. Keep that. Can't be slinging it around like that. Okay. Hot and sweaty. We gonna go to Lawson's we're gonna get some ice for this cooler for the beer pick up some dinner and uh, go take a corona bath later and uh, that's a wrap on day one I would say it was pretty successful considering when I woke up this morning I had no idea what the hell I was gonna do today not a clue. I'm glad that I got out of my house and I went on today's little journey because I think it worked out. I think it worked out. And I found a pretty nice place to call home for tonight. Finally able to chill. I went and got some ice. Some I already had the beer, but one thing I didn't have is a towel. I packed everything up, but I forgot a fucking towel, man. Had to pay $15 for a towel at Lawson's. Better be the nicest towel I've ever bought. But anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this beer. Use that $15 towel and go take a bath in a little bit and just relax, chill. Hopefully don't get eaten up by bugs. But yeah, anyways, I'm rambling, and uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully day two will be just as exciting as day one. Cheers.